Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm in the A320 this is the fly-by-wire mod and it's my very first flight here in a pilot's life but before we get into it a reminder please go ahead and smash a like button down below and if you're new how about consider subscribing it costs nothing at all except just a little bit of self-respect with that said let's go and grab the module or the app I should say and bring it over here and as you can see, let me just make this a bit bigger for you. Uh, we're going to be starting right up here in a yellow knife and we'll be working our way down to Edmonton. So it's about 550 nautical miles. Uh, now this flight is usually uh, conducted in an Embraer Air, but uh, because I don't have one of those in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I can use any aircraft I like. So I thought, well, for that distance in A320, uh, seems like a good choice and it's also an aircraft I need a bit of practice in so let me go ahead and remove that so we're sitting here on the tarmac and what I'll go and do everybody is I'll go and pre-flight and get the aircraft all ready to go and then we'll get out and uh, get this flight com completed and you can see uh, what happens within a pilot's life uh, through the various stages of flight so I'll catch you very soon okay as you can see the engines are all ready to go we're just about to taxi so i go ahead uh, it says it's connected down here hopefully you can see that so i go start flight have a nice flight and there we go the app is underway so what i'll do is let's get this thing flying and in the air and uh, i'll just give an update uh, perhaps at cruise altitude and then once again as we land and then we can do a bit of a uh, a uh, review on how the flight went and uh, what happens within the app here so i will catch you uh, at cruise altitude see you soon okay everybody we're at our cruise altitude of 33,000 feet that's flight level 330 and uh, you may notice that we haven't traveled all that far only a third of our route in uh, 50 minutes and uh, uh, it transpired that someone mucked up the flight plan and when I find out who it was I'm gonna they're gonna get a really stern telling off anyway I told you I needed uh, a bit of practice in the Airbus uh, A320 but anyway this is what you're gonna get when you're mid-flight it's gonna track uh, all the details of your flight including your current location longitude and latitude your distance to arrival uh, time to arrival right there uh, we're not going to be too late actually by the looks of it but uh, it's def definitely going to be a little bit late uh, your current speed across the ground I assume that is and uh, the meter at both the departure and the destination airport so we can see right here 290 at 3 knots so we'll be I think they've got a runway 30 at our uh, destination I'll just have to double check that so it's uh, most likely the uh, one we'll, we will be landing on so uh, it's just uh, really a case of sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the flight. That's what I'll be doing. And uh, once I uh, once I arrive and touch down and go and park up, uh, I'll come back and we can uh, take a look at the flight and, and see what the result was. So we'll catch you very, very soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the flight has been completed and it was an icy old flight there on approach once we got down through the clouds there. It's certainly very, very cold in this part of the world at the moment. So here we are in the app. Go ahead and press end flight and uh, it will go through and do its thing. And here we are right here, everybody. Here goes the uh, flight details right there. Uh, and uh, we've got 3.24 XP apparently. Uh, 115 feet per minute. Uh, was the landing um, vertical speed there which I'm pretty happy about actually so let's go into our dashboard and uh, now the dashboard reflects exactly what we've done so far in our career just the one flight completed 3.24 xp it's going to be a while to fill up this bar to our first officer so we uh, have to get ahead and uh, go ahead I should say and fly a number of flights if we go up to the reports let's go ahead and run a report and here we are here if we go that's the period that we want and if we say uh, say hours and we can go generate report this should now bring up some data given that we have actually completed a flight uh, and there it goes uh, 1.95 hours uh, obviously as you uh, as you fly your flights uh, it will change these particular reports so you've got first year right here is the entire graph because that's who I've only flown for in the A320 over there also so 
Uh, you can also, if I go money, uh, this is probably not going to work. Let's generate the report because I, you only get paid on the first of the month. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, uh, smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, and until next time, everybody, take it easy.